Hey guys, Rex Adams here from Lexington, Nebraska. And I'm coming to you today on the two year anniversary of the COVID lockdowns. I know we are so tired of hearing about COVID, so tired of hearing about restrictions and things, but uh, it's been two years since our world was completely disrupted by the COVID virus. And many of us are still dealing with the consequences in our churches today. Uh, we're seeing that engagement is not nearly what it was two years ago, pre-COVID. And I've talked with a lot of different pastors, a lot of different people who have different ideas about why this is. But for one reason or another, people are just not returning to church the same way they did before. Many of us are kind of getting back up to those pre-COVID numbers on Sunday mornings. But we're not seeing the engagement on Wednesday nights. We're not seeing the engagement in small groups. We're not seeing the engagement at events. And we're not seeing people coming to the church like they used to. And so this has caused us to have to do some creative thinking on ways we can connect with our community. And so what I wanted to do today on this update video is just share a couple of ideas that many of you have been doing around the network to connect with your communities in different ways. I've got one that we've learned here in Lexington, some others that, many, that, you, <laughs> some others that you have told me, and I want to share those with you today. So to start with, one of the things we've done here in Lexington as a ministerial association to engage our community is to create an on-call pastoral rotation for the police department, for the hospital, for the nursing homes. We just got together and said, who's willing to be on call? And so we have several of us that take one or two months out of the year, and we're on call 24 hours a day. And so if a police officer needs help with someone who's stranded, or if the hospital has a death and the person's not connected to a church, or if they just have someone looking for a pastor, they use that on-call rotation. And what it's done is really connected us with law enforcement, it's connected us with healthcare, it's connected us with the nursing homes in ways we never had been before. And it's opened a lot of great doors for partnership and connection, which is one of our network values. Another thing that, that some of you guys have done is chaplaincy. Now, I know we automatically go to fire, EMS, police chaplaincy, and those are incredible areas. Uh, and they're very viable, but they're not for everybody. But there are a lot of other ways we can connect with our communities. I know some of you are sports chaplains for your high school teams. You're there to pray with them before the games. You're there to counsel players. We're having a tough time. And if a player's struggling, who better to go to than a pastor? You may not be able to help them with their form, but you can sure help them with their spiritual issues. You can minister to their families. Another one is uh, being a part of the school. Uh, go to the administration and say, hey, I'm here. My church is here. We just want to serve I know some of you guys are on critical incident teams for the schools. Some of you uh, meet with the, the administration at different times to find ways to meet together. Here in Lexington, our ministerial association meets with the superintendent and the principals and assistant principals of all the schools once a year. We just talk about ways that we can work together to invest in our community. And they don't know, but we're really building God's kingdom in the community together. Uh, another thing that you can do is... Like I said earlier, fire EMS chaplaincy. Uh, one of our AG missionaries has created an emergency services chaplaincy course that you can take online for less than $150 and you can get trained to be an emergency services chaplain. And I'll tell you guys, if you will go to your police, if you'll go to your fire department and offer to be a chaplain, if they're open to it, it opens incredible doors of ministry in your community. You're there in people's darkest moments to minister to them. You're there to minister to the firefighters, to the police officers. It can open up some great doors. We'll put a link in the notes here uh, where you can get that training if you're up to that. Another thing you can do is be available to uh, your different areas in town. I know some of you told me that you just sit at a coffee shop once a week for a couple hours and read a book, something we all do anyway, right? And you're just there to be available. Some of you have your own booth at McDonald's where you sit and you're just there I know one of my professors in college was called the make pastor because he hung out at McDonald's so much, uh, but he was just there to, to minister. I know some of you, it's Starbucks. You're there just to minister. So guys, people aren't coming to us in the numbers we used to. It makes it even more vital for us to go to them. So these are just some ideas that we've had that we've come up with together as a network. I know there are many more ideas out there. Uh, so let's partner together and find new ways to build God's kingdom in Nebraska. So I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.